Dancer and choreographer Robert Wexler has been living and working in Germany for nearly 30 years. Here he rehearses with Polish dancer Daniela Komodera. The American has developed an extraordinary form of dance. I want to make movement uh, audible. I want to make movement into music. The dancers don't follow the music. The music follows the dance, which controls the succession of tones and light, as shown in this performance by the Palindrome Intermedia Group, founded by Robert Wexler. Even the smallest gestures can produce fascinating effects. I've always been interested in, 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 in gestures. Uh, uh, Gestures are discreet, they happen in a short amount of time, and they carry a message, uh, in the same way that a word is a gesture of language. Wexler had software specially developed that can transform, alter, and shape gestures and motions into musical and rhythmical elements. In this kind of work with interactive technology, uh, they're important because, because if you connect a certain gesture to a certain sound, we have that, uh, we have that effect of a word. Yeah? We have the effect of uh, when you ask a question, you raise your eyebrows, something like that. There's these connections of physical gesture to sound gesture uh, that are very powerful. Technically, it works using a sensor. And in our case, um, we use these uh, video cameras. Um, this, the video signal is imported into a computer. And then special software evaluates uh, the activities of the, of the mover. And uh, working with composers, we find ways of using that data uh, to shape and influence music. It's a new experience for the dancer Daniela Comadera to create music directly with the motion of her body. It's uh, very uh, good um, training. Uh, for a dancer and I think for um, uh, common uh, people too uh, because you uh, it's, it gives you a fun uh, it's like a play and you are mm, more a uh, mover than dancer you don't have to be a dancer to know what dance is. You don't have to be a musician to know what music is. You don't even really have to think in a cognitive sense, right? You don't need to be able to understand music intellectually to appreciate it, right? So a person can have a disability uh, which limits their, their body, their physical expression, but it could also be a disability of the mind, but they can still express themselves through music and dance. It occurred to me uh, that maybe there's, a, maybe there's an application for this for people with d disabilities, all kinds of disabilities. Wexler's workshops for people with disabilities, like this one in Dresden, show them their potential for further development. And it all wouldn't be possible without Wexler's dedication to the stage and his method of turning dance into sound.